Because with alcohol, it is um, a substance that it is possible for you to have one or two glasses of wine um, with no very powerful effects that can be used as a beverage. And I think with there are something like 2% of the population who actually carry a gene which will predispose them to become addicted to drugs or alcohol if they use it. And, you know, for those people, you know, just having a little bit of alcohol now and again may well not be a good idea. But for the majority of the public who don't carry that particular gene, alcohol can be used as a beverage and has been for many, many, many years. Young people do not use drugs as a beverage, you know, they don't use drugs, you know, just for, f they use it to get high. That's not the reason why people use alcohol. They don't use alcohol to get high. Tobacco is different, and as you very well know, we are doing everything we can to discourage people from using tobacco, and it's working. You know, lots and lots of messages are coming out, and the messages are all the same. Don't smoke, smoking's not healthy, smoking can do you harm. So there are no mixed messages coming out about alcohol, about cigarettes, sorry. Alcohol and tobacco have been legal for many, many years, and because alcohol can be used as a beverage. If you can use the thing as a beverage, why should you ban it? Uh, you can put cannabis in tea, as I understand, and drink it. You can put cannabis in tea? tea. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So you're using it as a beverage? No, you're using it to get high. Nobody drinks a cup of cannabis tea because they want a cup of tea. <laughs> they use it to get high. That's the big difference between it. What do you mean by using alcohol as a beverage? You can have a glass of alcohol with a meal or just because you're thirsty you want to have a lager or something you're you're having it to quench your thirst you're having it because it helps your food you don't have it because you want to get high or because you want to get drunk it's different